<clears throat> Here is another kinematic equation problem. Let us see how to solve this problem. A boy sees a ball going up and then back down through a window 2.45 meters high. If the total time the ball in sight is one second, find the height above the window to which the ball rises. Okay. Now let us see. This is the window. Okay. And then the height of the, the total height of the window is 2.45 meters. And then uh, a boy sees a ball is going up. The, the boy is here. And then he sees that the ball is going up. And then it goes further up somewhere. And then comes down. Okay. So he is, uh, we are supposed to find out this height, how high above the window the ball goes. This height we have to find out. That is the question. Now what he is saying is that if the total time the ball in sight is one second, the boy sees this time interval. That means going here and then coming back. This time interval he says, he sees. Okay. This time interval is one second. Okay, so the time interval is one second. This is total time. To go up and down the window. Okay, so t half is, t up is half second. That means half second means 0 0.5 seconds. And then t down is again another half second. Okay, so this is another 0 0.5 seconds, total one second. Okay, and then height is the window height is known to us. We have to find out above the window how high the ball reaches. Okay, <clears throat> now we will write down the equation, velocity equation. We will write we know no, Vf square is equal to Vi square plus 2ad. Okay. Here, what we do is, at the topmost point, Vf is equal to 0. At maximum height, Vf is equal to 0. Therefore, Vi is equal to, Vi square is equal to minus 2ad. Okay. And here, we take A is equal to G minus G, we will take. So this will become vi is equal to square root of 2g uh, d I will write as h uh, the height r you can keep it as d 2g d okay displacement or if you want to change it to h you can change it to h d is equal to h you write and then the ultimately the equation becomes vi is equal to root 2g h okay both are one and same. If you want to keep the displacement as a d, it, it's okay. Otherwise, if you want to keep the height h, then you can keep this. Both are one and same. Next, what we have to do is we have to find out the uh, h. <coughs> so for that, what we do? Mm, here, um, d is equal to v a t plus half a t square. This equation will hold good for this one, I think. Okay. Half a t squared. In this, we know v i. Okay. T is given as 0.5 seconds. And then a, we know again g value. And then t, we know. So let us find out this value is 2.45. So 2.45 is equal to root 2 g h times time is half second that means 0.5 plus half into g value we know no 9.8 times t is again 0.5 square okay mm. let us solve this one 2.45 is equal to root 2gh times 0 
this one is uh, 4.5. So this is a 0.25. This is a 1 by 2 squared. So 1 by 4, 1 by 4, this one 1 by 8, 9.8 by 1 by 8. So 9.8 by 1 by 8. Nine point eight by eight gives us the value of one point two two five. One point two two five. Okay. So root two G H is equal to two point four five minus one point two two five divided by zero point five. Okay, so this value is, from this we can find out h, h is equal to 0 0.306 meters. Okay, so this is the height reached by the ball about the top of the window. Okay. I hope you understood the problem. Any doubt, you can keep it in the comment section. I will explain to you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.